Good morning children. Welcome back to the second video from the chapter Albert Einstein at School by Patrick Pengel. In this chapter Patrick discusses about the Albert Einstein who is regarded as the greatest physicist since Newton. In the following extract from the young Einstein, the well-known biographer Patrick Pringle, you know, he describes the circumstances which led to Albert Einstein's expulsion from a German school. Children, we know Einstein as the Nobel laureate, but do we exactly know his childhood? How he was when he was a small child? What did he think? How was his philosophy and how did he reach that point in life where it's very difficult for others to reach so this chapter gives a little bit clue and you also can get inspired by it so let's go to the chapter let me read first the paragraph in what year Einstein asked the history teacher did the Prussians defeat the French at Waterloo? I don't know, sir. Why don't you know? You have been told it often enough. I must have forgotten. Did you ever try to learn? asked Mr. Brown. No, sir, Albert replied with his unusual or usual unthinking honesty. Why not? I can't see any point in learning dates. One can always look them up in a book. Mr. Brown was speechless. For a few moments, you amaze me, Einstein, he said at last. Don't you realize that one can always look most things up in books? That applies to all the facts you learn at school? Yes, sir. Then I suppose you don't see any point in learning facts. Frankly, sir, I don't, said Albert. Then you don't believe in nation at all? Oh, yes, sir, I do. I don't think learning facts in education. In that case, said the history teacher with heavy sarcasm, perhaps you will be so kind as to tell the class the Einstein theory of education, Albert flushed. I think it's not facts that matter, but ideas, he said. I don't see the point in learning the dates of battles or even which of the armies killed more men. I would be more interested in learning why those soldiers were trying to kill each other. That's enough. Mr. Brown's eyes were cold and cruel. We don't want a lecture from you, Einstein. You will stay in for an extra period today. Although, I don't imagine it will do you much good. It won't do the good, any kind of good to the school. You are a disgrace. I don't know why you continue to come. It's not my wish, sir, Albert pointed out. Then you are an ungrateful boy and ought to be ashamed of yourself. I suggest you ask your father to take you away. So, as you might have figured out that a discussion is going on between the Albert and his history teacher. Mr. Brown, class was on and Mr. Brown asked Albert that when the Persians defeated the French at Waterloo, Albert told him that he did not know. The teacher said that he had often told them. Albert said that he must have forgotten and this irritated the teacher. He asked Albert why and Albert replied that he did see a point in learning dates. Albert said that why should we learn dates? when they are already given in the book. One could learn about them from books because ideas are more important than facts and figures. The teacher thought that Albert didn't believe in education. He talked in a sarcastic manner. Sarcastic means in a commenting voice. Sarcasm. Albert told him that learning facts was not education. The teacher said that Albert was a disgrace for a school. So children, the teacher simply asked Albert, why have you not learned the dates? Albert said, I don't find any point in learning dates. 
in fact i would be more curious to know that why those men were fighting and why they were trying to kill each other so mr brown the history teacher got angry and he said that albert you are a disgrace you are a shameful creature why do you come to school like that so albert felt miserable when he left school that afternoon not that it had been a bad day most days were bad now anyway but uh, because he had to go back to the hateful place the next morning he only wished his father would take him away but there was no point in even asking he knew what the answer would be he would have to stay until he had taken his diploma going back to his lodgings did not cheer him up his father had so little money to spare that albert had been found a room in one of the poorest quarters of munich he did not mind the bad food and lack of comfort or even the dirt in his collar but he hated the atmosphere of slum violence his landlady beat her children regularly and every saturday her husband came drunk and beat her but at least you have a room of your own which is more than i can say said yuri when he called down in the evening at least you live among civilized human beings even if even if they are all poor students said albert they are not at all civilized yuri replied did you not hear that one of them was killed last week in a duel and what happens to the one who killed him nothing of course he is even proud of it his only worry is that the authorities have told him not to fight any more duels so he is upset about this because he hasn't a single scar on his face to wear for the rest of his life as a badge of honor oh exclaimed albert and these are the students well you will be a student one day said yuri i doubt it said albert glumly i don't think i'll ever pass the exams for the school diploma so children when albert went home he felt bad but actually that was not a bad day because most days were bad for him because he knew that every day he would have to go to that hateful place and hateful place here signifies the school but there was no point in asking his father because his father would not support albert because the father will say that you have to stay here until you take the diploma so he thought that there is no point asking father and that father please take me away from here going back to his lodgings did not tear cheer him up it means lodgings means where albert lived so albert did not find happiness at home also his father was not a rich exactly or not a well settled person and he had little money to spare so albert found a room in the poorest quarters of munich munich is in germany so albert took a room in one of the poorest place of munich and that was not a good place actually did not mind the bad food and no comfort and even the dirt and the squalor squalor means again dirt but actually hated the slum violence slum violence means actually it was a slum area slum area in hindi we say juggi jhopri and the atmosphere at that place was very dirty people used to fight with each other and no good atmosphere was there for exactly a student to live there and study just one day back his little one lady beat her children regularly and every saturday her husband used to come and drink drunk and beat the landlady then came yuri exactly yuri is the friend of albert 
He came there and said to Einstein, But Einstein, at least you have a room of your own, which is more than I can say. At least you live among civilized beings, even if they are all poor students at Albert. So when Yuri just asserted that Albert, you have at least one room. So Albert retorted back that at least I must live among civilized human beings, even if they are poor students. They are not at all civilized, Yuri replied. Did you not hear that one of them was killed last week in a duel? So Yuri said that a fight was there between two persons. Duel means a fight between two persons. So Yuri said that there was a fight between two persons and one of them was killed. And then Albert Einstein, then what happened to the person who killed him? So Yuri replied, nothing. Actually, he is now more proud. And uh, he is not unhappy, he is happy. Because he will be, uh, he is victorious even if he has killed the other person. But he is sad because there is not a scar, a, a single scar on his face. Scar means a kind of cut mark which he will carry rest of his life as a badge of honor. Means uh, if he would have a scar on his face, that winner person, he would tell to all others, see, I had a fight and I killed another person. So actually that was not there, so he is sad. But children, now you can imagine what was the condition there in the slum area where Albert lived. Means the man was not worried that he had killed a person, but he was worried because he did not have a scar. So as you tell the other persons, oh, I am so brave. Ah, oh, exclaimed Albert, and these are students. So they were students. So Yuri replied, well, one day you will also be a student. So Albert said, I doubt it. Albert said, I don't think I will ever pass the exams. Then next time the cousin of Elsa came to Albert and Albert told to his cousin Elsa. He told that at the same time she came to Munich, actually normally she lived in Berlin where her father had a business. I'm sure you could learn enough to pass the exams. Albert, if you try it, she said. I know lots of boys who are much more stupid than you are who get through. They say you don't have to know anything. You don't have to understand what you are taught. Just be able to repeat it in the exams. That's the whole trouble, said Albert. I'm no good at learning things by heart. You don't need to be good at it. Anyone can learn like a parrot. You just don't try. And yet, I always see you with a book on your arms, added Elsa. What is the one you are reading? A book of geology. Geology? Rocks and things, do you learn that? No. We have hardly any science at school. And why are you studying it? Because I like it. That, isn't that a good enough reason as a site? You are right, of course, Albert, she said. But it won't help you with your diploma. Apart from books on science, his only comfort was music and he played his violin regularly. Until his landlady asked him to stop. So, the cousin of Albert came there, named Elsa. She came to Munich and met Albert. She told Albert that if he tried to pass exams, he could. You know, she said that there are more stupid boys than him who just passed the exams. And moreover, passing examination was not difficult. He had not to understand anything. In fact, he should just repeat, merely repeat in the examination. It means Elsa was saying the same thing which Albert hated. And Elsa was saying the same thing which Mr. Braun, the history teacher, generally said to Albert. That learn and learn. 
find no reason but Albert wanted to do anything with reason then Albert liked science he had on that day the book of geology under his arm so Elsa asked what is this book you are reading so I seen and geology Elsa replied and but you don't study geology at school there's no use so Einstein replied but I liked it so apart from books on science his only comfort was music and he played his violin regularly until his landlady asked him to stop that wailing get on my nerves she said there's enough noise in this house with all the kids howling Albert was tempted to point out that most of the time it was she who made them howl but he decided it was better to say nothing I must get away from here he told Yuri after six months alone in Munich it is absurd that I should go on like this in the end it will turn out I have been wasting my father's money and everyone's time it will be better for all if I stop now and then what will you do Yuri asked I don't know if I go to Milan I'm afraid my father will send me back unless his eyes gleamed with a sudden idea Yuri do you know any friendly doctors yes I know a lot of medical students and some of them are friendly said Yuri doctor no I have never had enough money to go to one why suppose said Albert that I had a nervous breakdown suppose a doctor would say it's bad for me to go to school and I need to get right away from it so children actually Albert liked or you can say loved music as well he used to play violin but generally the landlady interrupted him actually she said that it's quite difficult to hear the howling howling means shouting but it was his her children who used to shout and actually she tempted them to shout she didn't handle them carefully so most of the time Albert wanted to live outside of school as well as that squalor or that grim place or that slum area Albert asked Yuri his friend close friend Yuri I want to get away from here after six months after alone in Munich so Albert didn't like to remain in school he met Yuri after six months and he had an idea he told Yuri that he needed a medical certificate it should state that he suffered from a nervous breakdown then you could get rid of school he asked Yuri if he had a doctor friend Yuri told him that he knew Dr. Ernst Wiel Yuri told him not to deceive him he must be frank with him Albert visited Dr. Ernst Wiel then he had really come near a nervous breakdown so children Albert thought of a plan he asked his friend Yuri do you know any doctor who can get me a medical certificate so that I could get leave from school so Yuri said yeah fine I know Dr. Ernst Wiel and who was he he was Yuri's friend and he had just completed his medical degree so Albert wanted to visit Dr. Ernst Wiel then he had nearly come down near a nervous breakdown so actually Einstein wanted a medical certificate from a doctor which he could be able to submit in school and get a kind of leave from there 
so children that's all in this part of video the rest of the chapter will be explained in third or the last part of the video thank you